Morgan, two one defeat against ours today were close, but just not quite close enough, maybe. Yet again, unfortunately, uh, another two one defeat. Although I felt that uh, I thought we could have got a, that got a point out of the game. To be honest with you, I think we were well. We were, I thought we were deserving of it, especially. First half, we conceded early. Set, you know, you look at the two goals we conceded both right at the start of each half. Very disappointing. Uh, people talk about your, you have your game plan, the start of the game. Because out the window after a minute, two minutes. Second half, you get everybody regrouped, back out again. Concede again in the first minute. So tough against any team. Never mind the likes of Ards. You know, it was today again that we. Maybe had to win if, or if not draw, if we were gonna sort of realistically stay up there. Yeah, I think so. I think we had to. I think Ards had a game in hand on us, even though we were two points ahead. So it was to keep us well in the mix. I think that's now what six games we've lost. So that'll be tough. You know, all games are tough in this league, as we all know. But you want to be making a mark against the bigger teams, or so-called bigger teams in the league, which Ards, Carrick. Banger are, and you want to be getting results against those sides, and we haven't done that. Are we just a, a little bit away, maybe, from that level? Is that what maybe those results show us just at this moment in time? Yeah, well, the results are what they are, and uh, anybody looking at it will say, and they'll look at a record against those teams, and we haven't won them. So, if you want to win leagues and want to go further, you have to, you have to be beating those teams. Yeah, definitely. Is it important between now and the end of the season to though, you know, make a name for something, whether it's top four, top five, but you know, show real progression from last year? Yeah, I think so. I, I, you know, people will look at it and think maybe, like just what you said about being out of the title race, but we're still there. You know, everybody has to play everybody else. So let's just go take it in the chin, regroup back again next week, and. Just keep one, just keep one in as many games as we can, and who knows where we'll end up. Today we were missing the likes of Paul Maguire and Stuart Scott. Stuart McMullen was injured, obviously Scott Irvine as well. You know, four big players to to take out of the team, and maybe you know, did that did that show a bit today? Yeah, I think when you take four players like that out of who you know up until their injuries would have played every game for us, really. Although uh, maybe three, Stuart Scott maybe wasn't. Didn't start as many games as the rest, but the other three have been steady and played every game for us this year. So you take three teams out of a small squad, that were, sorry, three players out of a small squad that that we have, who play every week, anybody would miss them, yes. Plus, we have, you have three guys here, two, the two new players who started today, plus Neil Larry come on at half-time. So, that, you know, we've, it takes a wee bit of a while for, them, for those to... Just to gel into this general style of play and what we're, what we're about, and we find out what they're about too. So when you take those out, we unfortunately have another case where we could integrate them into the team, where we've had to just basically throw them in because of the injuries, you know, to you know, regular first team players. So, but then that's that's football. That's what a squad's all about, you know. And you have to go to make the most of it, missing. But yes, definitely, you, you miss those sorts of guys. But we, we have players there that can we feel can step up to the mark. Darren Stewart and Kevin Bradley both started today. Darren put himself about, and I thought Kevin in particular did really well at, at right back. So that was a bit of encouragement too. Very much, very much. So, but so we knew what they were about before we came here. We knew that they would go into the side and and do well. And both both have felt today both are very good games. Yeah, very much so. And a break next week is that maybe come at a good time, as you say, to to try and get people well, you know, used to what we want from them and and what we need. Yeah, well, it, it always does. But you want to play a game on a Saturday, <laughs> you know. It's 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 hard. You 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 go the training and you train all week, and you want to play that game on a Saturday. Unfortunately, we haven't got a game next week. But yes, as you say, it, it is what it is. We'll go. We'll work hard on the training pitch. Get the guys, everybody working together. Hopefully, maybe Giggsy's injury might clear up. Whatever, and it gives us another player in the squad. So yeah. Unfortunately, we'd still rather be playing a football match, so definitely, and put the the defeat behind us. You know, last day of the transfer window, I take it we're not likely to to see too much more action. I wouldn't think so. No, that's I think we're happy enough. You know, if you add those guys back into the squad again, the three guys, unfortunately, Scott, that's you know, the season's finished. But the other three, you know, that was quite a 
quite a, a strong squad. So let's see with a strong squad and let's see where it takes us and between now and the end of the season, yeah.